Good morning, viewers. It's been a while. It's your boy Ace back on the scene again with a very special show dive video featuring Dominic and Edwin, aka Tap Out Boss. Funny story about Edwin. Years ago, when I started diving, we started together. He had a little entanglement with the ocean. He had a blackout. And I ain't talking about the lights. But regardless, we have Tap Out Boss here today tapping into his inner freediving capability, so stay tuned. So I decided to take it out of the goodness of my fragile heart to assist my fellow Sparrow. Grab this venomous lionfish and attempt to put him on the string and my fellow Sparrow decide it's time for Ace to get choked and let Don't me get you. Edwin, Edwin! What the f*** is this, boy? Did you get choked too? Huh? You, you choked me the thing? I got you out there. What the f***? <laughs> I didn't push the thing up out of there. We But Elwood But you took me you can take big man Yes Oh sorry so you pick up on it So after getting the lionfish job courtesy Edwin it is time to start making some drops on the reef edge which is my personal favorite section to dive Usually I'll swim to the bottom of the sea floor lie and wait for the fish to approach me It makes the shot easier in my opinion Sometimes it's better to be patient instead of waving a gun around and spooking all the nearby fish. about diving reef edges is the constant challenge to remain calm in the deeper parts of the reef while still focusing on the species you want to target i usually look for a comfortable spot on the sea floor and position myself in the direction i believe i'll be approached by the fish on this particular dive however i didn't really see anything much until i looked right and i saw this really nice Stop her off in the distance, but he was not <laughs> having it today. <laughs> 
So I'm hearing this strange noise wondering if dolphins making a pass over me. But I already do look to my left nose, Dominic. I instantly had to calm myself down because I knew I didn't really laugh. Well, I ought to be hearing about Ace on TV6. So after I regain my focus, still looking around to see if I see any fish. Didn't see that mutton from before. Now here we have Dominic's point of view with a strange equalizing sound. It's probably actually a secret fish attracting noise that I've yet to learn. But anyway, that's me on the seafloor hoping for round two with this nice sized mutton that I saw earlier in the distance. Patience, patience, and more patience. The dog looking a little shaky. <laughs> ah, gotta make a few more jumps on him. Back in. You know the usual thing when people see fish well in Tobago that they want to touch, touch. I just hope you don't touch that channel, no? <laughs> Got some very many hands. <laughs> you can get it, you let the lionfish shook me. I got shook too? Yeah, but I didn't have to get shook. I hold anything for he, he pushing it to get me, damn thing shook me. But it's still feeling the pain on his own. You have to live. Huh? But yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and is that later?